Hey, what's up guys? Tom from Positive Lead Diagnostics. Today we're working on a 2007 Ford F-150 uh, 5.4 liter engine. Customer complaint is a check engine light. Uh, this is going to be a real quick one, guys. Um, I've already started looking at it. Uh, the code that we have is a P0446. It's an EVAP vent control solenoid fault. The vent valve looks new. I've already done some voltage checks underneath, so I'll, uh, I'll get you a shot of the faults show you the voltage checks and I'll show you where I'm at. All right guys, here's a shot of the faults. We are attacking this P0446 EVAP system vent control fault. So engine misfire on startup, OBD checks incomplete. That just means someone cleared the faults. We don't care about those. We just care about this one. So there's a functional test to do the vent valve, which I've done already but I'll just show it to you. I don't hear anything. And right here you can just turn the valve on and off. See the computer is controlling it. Turn it off. That goes to zero. So I don't hear anything. Um, I've already done some voltage checks. All right guys, sorry about this. Uh, these camera shots. So there's where back probe this is on uh, the canister vent solenoid there's two wires there's a green one that's the power supply and there's another one uh, it's purple and white can't really see it but that is our control so right now I'm back probed on the power supply let me show you my voltage reading zero volts so I have zero volts on this with it plugged in watch when I unplug it so I unplug it and this 2.5 volts appears so this should be 12 volts comes from a seven and a half amp fuse it's hot all the time so it looks like we have a power feed issue coming to this vent control solenoid and I'll show you one other way to test uh, the computer control from back here all right guys so it's unplugged I'm back probed on the control wire it's a purple and white wire. Notice I have this fuel pump module unplugged. So what I'm gonna do, this is a ground side switched solenoid. I'm gonna take my test light. We're gonna tie in and use this power feed from this fuel pump module. And then we're gonna control the solenoid with a scan tool and check this computer driver. All right guys, once again, I apologize uh, for these camera angles. Uh, this is kind of hard so right here I have this pin going in to the fuel pump module that's the power feed to the fuel pump module and I'm gonna take my test light and touch on this back probe or on this control wire to the solenoid and then I'm gonna turn it on and off and this is ground side switched we should be able to turn the light on and off so back to our bi-directional controls this is all I'm going to be doing, turning this solenoid on and off. And here's a shot at the test light. So it's off, turn it on. Off. On. So that tells us our computer driver is good. Our wiring integrity from the PCM back here to this vent solenoid is good. And what we have is a power feed problem. Now it's 2.8. And so I'm just reaching up here and wiggling on the harness. I know that that lighting is terrible. This is all I'm doing on the harness. And I am getting this voltage to jump around. So this wiring issue, um, based on that, has to be close. I'm not moving much of the harness here, just a couple parts of it. So it's definitely going to be very close. So I'm just going to wiggle this harness till I find the best spot and I'm going to rip it open and I'll see if I can find this corroded wire or high resistance in this wire. So I'm just taking this harness, I'm getting these huge changes here. Two and a half volts right now. So 
down to about 1.5 and I think I'm gonna rip it open right here if you can see that that would be sweet if it was right here and I think right here these are actually this is the harness that goes to the vent solenoid so I definitely want to stay in that area My voltage is down to 1.3, 1.1. Keeps changing. I gotta be close. There she is. All right, guys. So I pulled this harness. I think I got it close. This is our control wires going to this vent solenoid and it's kind of hard to tell and it's probably from this light but that looks like green crusties right in there so I'm going to grab onto this green wire if I can keep you on it Right there is our power feed issue. I really didn't even pull hard. So now what we're going to do is fix this wire. Guys, here's our power feed wire to the vent solenoid. Just have those wires twisted together. Um, this is not fixed right now. This is a temporary connection just to show you uh, that we fixed the car. So still on, I think we're now, see I'm connected to the control side, show you that we got 12 volts there, and we'll do the output control again, turning it off and on, and I can hear it, let's go back, and so there is our control. I'll put the camera up there so you guys can hear it. It's really quiet. So with this vent solenoid on, we are down to zero. Turned off. We are back up to 12. So this vehicle is fixed show you where I'm I'm laying out here underneath this truck I'm actually using the spare tire as a pillow so a broken power feed wire going up to this vent solenoid showed you how to do some uh, sweet checks on it make sure it's all good uh, the computer driver works uh, we had no power feed so I'm gonna fix this wire right now. This connection that I just did was just temporary to show you that this vehicle's fixed. Um, cool bi-directional controls, we could hear it, see the voltage change, everything's good. So I'm gonna fix this now. So we got one of these little butt connectors. It's got the solder in it, and the insulation actually is like a heat shrink, so uh, this is how we're gonna fix this. You actually have to overlap the wires in the center and then you heat it up and it'll shrink the insulation and melt the solder in the middle. So we're gonna try to do that right now. And so it should look something like this. Still on my control wire at the solenoid. Just wiggling this connector, this butt connector around. So that's a good connection. I'm gonna tape this harness back up and clear the faults. So we are going to clear our codes right now. Codes cleared. Key on. 
Key on engine off test. So P1000, that means we just cleared codes. Well, I hope you guys liked that one. Missing power feed to a canister vent valve. And the broken wire wasn't too far off. So uh, simple checks with a voltmeter, bi-directional controls. And uh, this one wasn't too bad. So hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching.